Hi, I'm Amber Thust. Today I'm going to be sharing how I digitize traditional line art because I kind of had to trial and error it myself. So I'm going to be doing this Furby Connect today. And the first thing I do is try to get some nice natural lighting and take a photo of my drawing. So I've already taken one so I don't have to take it in the video. So I typically use Google Photos to transfer my pictures from my phone to my computer. And then I open up GIMP and open up that fo photo. So the first thing I'll do in GIMP is crop out just what I want. hit enter and it crops and then we want to go to layer at the top and down to transparency add alpha channel this will make it so that it has the blank background the the nothingness once you delete the background um, <laughs> okay so the next thing you do is go to colors and you go to saturation we want to remove the saturation so it is just in grayscale. And then you go back to colors again and open up exposure. You'll have the option for a black level and exposure. I always increase my black level so it just deepens the lines. And then adjust the exposure so that the back is as white as possible. See, like right there, you can start to see like the paper shadow um, so I try to go a little bit past that but not so that it gets like entirely washed out um, yeah right there it's all right if it's a little bit gray here um, I did use just a ballpoint pen and sketchiness for this picture so it will look a little sketchy um, once you have that you can uh, do this button up here. That's called the Select by Color tool, if you hover over it. Um, and then you select the white background and hit Delete. Let's do that on my keyboard. And then select at the top and None. And then you can see this kind of faded out picture. But it's got the checker background, so that means it's transparent. Go back to Colors. And down towards the bottom is the colorize option. I will click on this color bar, bring it down to black, and that just darkens everything. It just turns it all black so that there's none of the gray pixels. It's, it's just black. Um, the next thing that you can do to try and clean it up a bit is use the eraser tool and just go along and remove um, old pencil lines or whatever you don't want in your finished piece. And there you have some line art. Um, in order to keep it with the transparent background, you should go to Export As and select File Type by Extension scroll down to where is it png and it will save once you export export will save so that you can open it with the transparent background all right so here's the original and then we have it in a png which the background of my viewer is gray so it's hard to see but it is fully transparent um, in the next video, I will show you how I colored in with this line art on GIMP, and this Furby will be available on my Redbubble account at emberthest.redbubble.com. The link is in the description if you're interested in bringing this little cutie home. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.